Good morning. Nice and early. It's a little before 6 a.m. Still a little late with the sun. Oh, we get good early, early sun over here. Um, as I'm half asleep, it's harvest time. So I'm going to show you guys the beds real quick. I'm going to harvest today. Walking through spider webs. It's been fun. So broccoli rob. Um, the stuff that's really close to flower or starting to flower, I will leave. Um, actually, these flowers are edible. Um, so if they bloom really well by market time, I will um, uh, bring those with me as long as they're not too hot. Spinach. Um, this entire half of the bed has to be harvested today. And then there's a few big pieces stripped right there. You can see where I was harvesting for. Um, otherwise this will bolt and some of these are very large right now. And so I will be harvesting all of this for the market today and probably um, some donation as well. And radishes. So these will all also be pulled today. And um, that way I can finish planting this bed. These have now gone past harvest for eating stage. They are ridiculously massive and they probably would have that woody, um, bitter flavor, I think. So um, not uh, these are, I was hoping they would flower so I could use the, the, the flowers and cut flowers. Um, but um, at the point where I actually have my sweet potato slips, so I need the bed space. So these will actually get harvested and put in the compost, um, in the big compost pile. So um, that will happen probably not this morning though. And then for flowers, I've got uh, the first of our Sweet William. So these ones that have a couple open, I'll be able to use in the bouquets today. I've got the penny cress, the field penny cress. Here for filler. I love those calls. Um, I also have some more um, flowers over here, and then I've got um, sweet uh, sweet peas, the wild sweet peas. So in here, I have some ranunculus as well. These are right on the edge of being ready and probably will be ready to open, my guess is in an hour or so. Um, so I'm not sure if I will harvest these today or not. Um, and then I've got an allium here. Try to show you guys. There you go. And as soon as that pops, I'll be harvesting that for a bouquet as well. So I've got a bunch of, bunch of these coming. Um, I need to pull the rest of these radishes here. I actually have a couple carrots for lunch um, that I'll be pulling. And yeah, but the most, uh, oh, the other thing I have is for here. So these are the plants that I'm gonna bring today. I've got kale, lettuce, beets, um, bell peppers. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> that one is a smaller one. I think this might be one of the babies. Um, uh, it has a more complete eye line. Hi, Vet Bunny. Um, was not out here until I came out. And then as soon as I'm here, they know that nothing else is going to get it. Um, there's Ace Orange Picnic, Red Picnic. Uh, looks like there's some poblano still, some nice parsley, uh, guajillos, California Wonders, which is a bell. There's Rutgers and big beef tomatoes. This is a nice larger um, red picnic. Basil, marigolds, alyssum, zinnias, stock, more basil and parsley. 
So I'm not gonna bring everything today. I'm gonna do a smaller amount. Um, we're expected to have really bad thunderstorms this afternoon, right during the market. So they're still deciding whether or not we're gonna have it. But the problem is, so I have this ready and staged. Um, my, my big problem though is that I have to harvest early because it's gonna be 80 something degrees um, by 11. So if I don't harvest now and we have the market, I can't bring the spinach or the radishes, for example. They won't do well. So I gotta harvest like I'm going to the market. And if something uh, changes, I've got a couple of different organizations that I can um, reach out to, to say, hey, I've got, um, oh, I'm gonna do the beet, uh, beet greens too. So I've got beet greens, broccoli rob, radishes and spinach that are going to the market. And so I'm like, well, you know, take a chance on harvest, but because I need the bed space, the broccoli rob will actually get pulled at this point, I think, um, so that I can plant some of the next crop in that bed. I need the radish bed on the back for space, and the spinach is gonna bolt if I don't harvest it today. So because of all of that, I'm going to take the risk and harvest. If for some reason we don't have the market, or I don't sell a good quantity at the market, um, then what's gonna happen is I'm going to, I've got two donation places optional. I also have a, um, a great place locally that is um, converting local farmers' produce into uh, veggie boxes and CSAs, and they take uh, snap and some of the other things which are the um, like the food stamp uh, programs here in Massachusetts and so I have the option of also dropping off um, produce to them today um, hopefully I'm gonna give them a call and um, selling it at a wholesale price and so but if they can't take it I can bring it right to the food um, kitchen here in town as well and they will all of a sudden have a few a huge salad opportunity. Um, so uh, that's where it's going. Um, but that's what I've got at the moment. Um, I don't have enough to bring to the to the market. But look at this broccoli. I'm pretty proud of it. Looks nice and healthy. This one was the um, this was the Melody, the mini, the hybrid mini broccoli from Johnny Seeds, and um, something had eaten, <laughs> uh, and also the heat we after I planted these um, didn't help, so I only have two left. I had a whole section here, so I've replanted this area, but um, yeah, so I'll try these two at least, um, but I'm going to get going with the, um, the harvesting, and I'll give you guys updates as I go. Not a bad harvest. It's probably too many for the market. So I still have some left, but now I'll have enough space to plant a few more peppers in this bed, which will be perfect. So now on to, I think I'll probably do the spinach next here. And uh, well, I watered it last night, so um, a lot of people would do bunches at this point because this, uh, some of the stems are a little longer. But I think I'm gonna bag it. I keep going back and forth on what the best way to do this is. But I think bag, grab and go is much easier and then I can put them in coolers um, at the market. Just a morning harvest. I have plenty more to go, but I'm gonna stop now. I've got two of the five gallon buckets full of spinach. I needed some bed space for putting, switching over beds. So I've got broccoli rob, I've got beets I need a bunch, I've got radishes I need to wash, and yeah, these two uh, five gallon buckets, crazy. Huh. 
hopefully the farmer's market in Westminster does well today and doesn't get rained out or thunderstorms. <laughs>